Hi YouTubers, Old Radio Isle here. Today we're doing an unboxing. To be honest, uh, it's already been unboxed, but we're going to unbox it again anyway. Once in a while, you know, you run across something you just can't let get away. And this is uh, one of those things. I stopped by my favorite antique store and uh, I found the vendor I, I buy so many of these radios from and his booth the same booth I showed you guys he was uh, setting this thing up for display I asked him you know what do you have there and, and he uh He told me, told me the story. The story was uh, he'd gotten access to a long closed uh, TV and radio shop in St. Louis that the family was selling off and they were getting rid of the contents. And this box was in the store. And the box was uh, a radio not something I would normally collect but in this case I you know I just couldn't pass it by you know how often do you get the opportunity to have something brand new that's over 50 years old and this radio is that you know the seller said he found it exactly as you see it now in the box he had the, the presence of mind to open the box from the bottom knowing that whoever ended up with it would uh, want to display the box also so let's uh, see if we can take a peek here without me setting the camera down as you can see it's sealed up from the top not so the bottom and there it is in its original packing I'm going to uh, turn the camera off set it down and get it out of the box and we'll take a closer look okay here it is this is the 1963 Philco model M 874 code 124 see the power cord is still wrapped and all the original documentation so the, this is the model as I said M874 I think the code 124 refers to the chassis and I think there were several of these in different colors. This one is a uh, a tan and light blue. The light blue being the front. It's an All American Five. You know, broadcast band only. Has the. Uh, Civil Defense markings as all radios between um, 1953 through 1963 had. Not a, you know, uh, I don't know how <laughs> how collectible a radio like this would be, but as you can see, this is a brand new radio. 
not a mark, not a scratch out of the box. Fifty one years old. Uh, as of right now, um, this radio has been powered up twice. It's been it was powered up by the uh, seller. You know, he wanted to see if it was working, which he said it was, and I powered it up when I got it home to see if it was working, see, you know, what needed. I, th I figured right away the electrolytics and and possibly whatever other caps were in there would need to be replaced, but that, uh, and uh, as of right now, they haven't been, and it, it is playing well. After this video, I'm going to open it up and I will replace at least the electrolytics and check out the rest of the components, you know, including the tubes. You know, maybe I'll take, I'll, I'll uh, tack a, an initial look at the chassis on at the end of this video just so we all know what a, <laughs> a 50 plus year old Virgin Radio chassis looks like. As it is, this is what, this is what a 50 year old radio out of the black box looks like. I know it's not wood, John, but I'm I'm crushing on this radio. Not a scratch, not not a blemish. It's 1963 right here and now. Here's all the uh, documentation. how to enjoy modern living with your new product and look at that Philco a subsidiary of Ford Motor Company as you probably know Philco was purchased by Ford in 1961 and this being a 1963 it's it's a Philco radio that was owned by Ford. I believe it was 1966 when the Philco Ford branding began. At this time they still just called it Philco. Your Philco radio is a super heterodyne receiver. There you go. In the event of a national emergency civil defense broadcast may be received by tuning your radio to either other frequencies indicated by the sim symbol on the standard broadcast band on your radio to operate the radio. Cleaning the plastic cabinet. There you go guys, you wanted to know how to clean Bakelite and plastic, there you go, right from the manufacturer. Copyright 1962 Philco. Ooh, I wonder if it's still under warranty. Philco products. Philco recommended service. What else do we got here? Oh, the inspection tag. Inspector 58. Another inspection tag. Seems odd seeing that Ford Motor Company. schematic may come in handy don't know how readily available the, this one is uh, 
how to operate your new Philco. Uh oh, and here we go, the warranty card. And there was this was before the days of zip code. Free service guarantee. Wow. Okay, guys. Let's see what would have been playing in 1963.
Sounds pretty darn good, doesn't it? Huh. Well, I'm still going to recap it because this radio is going to become my um, regular kitchen radio as it was intended to be. You know, some people would probably put this back in the box and uh, leave it there. Because of the uh, value, uh, if that sounded like it was in quotes, it probably was, but you know, intended that way. Well, I think this radio deserves to fulfill its purpose and be a radio. I don't know if you could see it on the box there when I was showing the box, but uh, penciled in was the the price of uh, twenty six ninety five, which is what it would have gone far back in nineteen sixty three. Well, I paid twenty four dollars for it, so I got it on sale. I could sit and play this early 60s music all day because I've got a lot of it. But anyway, there you have it. You know, directly from uh, directly from 1963. It's a Philco model M874. Alright, I'm going to turn this off here and we'll go open the cabinet up, take a look at the chassis. Alright fellas, here it is. I've got to say, it is very strange for me. <laughs> uh, seeing all the uh, classic components of an All-American 5 on a, on a circuit board. You know, you're so used to point-to-point -point wiring with these old radios. And you can see these runs on a on a circuit board <laughs> with those five tubes, the tuning capacitor, the IF cans, the electrolytic. Not many, uh, not many capacitors on this thing. It's a three-part. Electrolytic, a 20 and a 30 and a 25. This will take all of about a half hour to uh, to recap. One tube shield. Not much to it, guys. There's two speakers. As you can see, I mean, immaculate, no dust, nothing. It's 
just like a, a time capsule. It's just so odd. <laughs> it's an interlocking power cord, of course. So that's it. Let's recap this guy and I'll uh, give it one more little play and that'll be the end. All right. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. You've grown cold and no longer care for me. As always, thanks for watching guys, more radios on the way.